All right, hey, what's up, guys? It's Tim with the Juice and with the Gym Vault for your facility programming. This is our Cycle One overview and specific January 2020 overview video. So we're going to go over the cycle a little bit. Important dates to know what the focus is of the cycle, so you can best communicate that to your members. Make some plans in advance, and I'll fill in the gaps on some of the fun things we have planned for you, like some of the skill seminars coming up uh, and the different testing days. So, starting off, let's go over the cycle overview as a whole. Uh, the testing week is going to be January 13th to 18th. All right, because the way the first week kind of starts in the middle of the the week, how the holidays are st st structured like that, and they're not on the start of the week. Uh, there wasn't a really clear starting date based on people's holiday travels and getting back in the gym and having them feel like they're ready for that uh, initial testing week. So the first week over the holidays, we're calling that actually like week zero or maybe even it's just it's a base prep and fundamentals week. So we're going over uh, basic uh, functional movements, front squats, pulling in all variations, hinging, not for max, for just teaching with good mechanics and building a really strong base. And that's a big theme of the start of the cycle. Making sure everyone that's coming in your gym, everyone's heard how great it is. They're all coming back in. That's a mindset we have. We're coming into it. So we're going to be ready for them. We always have the upscale side stuff. We always have our sport training for your people that are consistent and about to go do their throwdown. They're taken care of with our pre-class competitors training, with the accessory training for everyone uh, there. They're all taken care of there, but we're trying to hit right down the middle of the bullseye of who you can help the most of in your gym, right, and help keep the lights on. So with that first week now that uh, might have been testing week, there's actually going to be a bunch of small tests for people that are starting on January 6th to 11th. But these are the basis of support tests uh, that we know all max contractions, heavy load, high output are built upon. People wanna come in day one, they may in their heart wanna hit Fran that day, or maybe not quite that, but you know what I mean? They're ready to hit it and our job is to be the professional in the room and to show them, great, that's awesome. You wanna do Fran, which ideally should be a speed, strength, endurance, uh, lactic power workout, right? But right now, if your cardio is not up where we need it to be, it's gonna be a bunch of you know bad weightlifting work. Or if your strength, endurance isn't where we need it to be, right? Then it's gonna be a bunch of battery work, lift and stop, lift and stop. So we'd be better off just lifting and stopping for a couple days, getting back in there uh, and then going. So you'll see tests like our 20 rep goblet squat, eight uh, rep max bent over row right and left, eight rep max press right and left. Uh, different variations of tests like that, some capacity tests like a 2K row that is really nasty. They are gonna fill the bite, but not super technical right now until we have time to rebuild some technique for everyone. So again, a lot of opportunities for PRs and for new people that are hungry. It's the test they need, right? We always go muscle endurance into strength endurance into max contractions, right? So muscle endurance is the foundation of all these. So we know if people are up and down, we don't skip steps and just go to the finish line. We give them the basic support they need. That's structural integrity. That's going to help keep them engaged in your program over the year, right? It may not be the sexiest thing to start off. You might want to have done Fran on uh, January 2nd or January 1st, but we want to have November in mind and December in mind of 2020, that we paint the picture and that we're helping enroll them in the training, right? The tail's not wagging the dog. They're not uh, gonna get, why well, I wanna do this instead. Our job is to be a professional, to communicate this to your members every class, every day at the start. Here's how training goes when they leave. Here's what to do to get better, to allow super compensation to happen and for them to come back in tomorrow to be ready to train. All right, off my high horse, the important dates. January 6th to 11th is prep and structural week. So a lot of testing there. 13th to 18th is testing week. That's our initial cycle test. Uh, January 27th to 31st is cycle, the mini cycle one test. February 17th to 21st is a little mesocycle two test. Uh, March 9th to 13th is cycle three test. And then the retesting the big cycle right, for our whole macro, our winter 2020 macro cycle is March 30th to April 3rd. That's retesting week. And then we have a little deload after that. All right. Uh, this January, right, starting off the year, we are doing a handstand balancing and strict handstand push-up seminar that Coach Dusty Highland of the Skill Wad and 
international fame has put together for us. It's really awesome. Uh, starting in February, we're working with one of my former teammates that was CrossFit weightlifting uh, HQ staff. And then for the Birdners, was running their seminars around the world. And now she's doing uh, her own and actually ran in one of our, our facilities at CrossFit Thousand Oaks, did a seminar there. And I heard such great things that I said, hey, Eileen, it's Coach Eileen Wu from Wu Lift, that she's going to be putting together a skill seminar on the squat clean in February. And so starting off some basic components that over the year, yeah, we're going to do snatch better. We're going to have some, you know, another muscle up clinic and a whole bunch of other ones building up for you, but it's the base first. We get those pieces right and we start building. Okay. Uh, let's get into cycle priorities now uh, here. Uh, our testing is going to focus a lot on absolute strength. Now, Tim, you just said it started off muscle endurance, strength endurance, max contractions. Why are we starting off the test with absolute strength? Well, that's going to be our baseline. And it's our baseline testing that then we're going to come back after going through these methods, getting an accumulation phase, getting structural integrity, right, left, top, bottom, front, back, uh, improving our skills, getting people to come to your skill seminars, and integrating skills in our training sessions, going to strength endurance, going to different uh, positional pieces and different movements we're maxing on, then into the heavy hitters of our classic powerlifting test, right? One rep max deadlift, bench press, and squat are all going to be tested on that initial week in addition to a couple other parts. Like I said, we have our small PR tests that are going on, uh, some fun training and bodybuilding and, and building uh, to get a really solid base of support. We have some of our classic uh, gym vault uh, tests here along with CrossFit uh, benchmark tests that will be in there in that initial week and throughout the cycle, especially found on those three-week uh, increments where we're getting a small intensification phase. So there is a little bit of undulation to the cycle uh, there. They're keeping their fitness throughout, but it also allows us to have focus to rebuild uh, their their movement quality and their strength, et cetera. Uh, there's going to be some odd object and uh, movements to challenge the core. We're looking to challenge the core in a few different ways that we've been working on uh, a lot with some individual clients that I do. And I've think I've found some nice and fun ways to do them in your classes, but also make sure the classes still run really well. And that's one of the hard parts, sometimes of odd object training. We know it's great. We know it's a good to express uh, people's functional core stability and functional power, but sometimes it can be a little chaotic uh, to do things really clean across the board all day. Uh, last little parts, a balance of absolute strength and strength endurance over the cycle will be found. That's going to be the base, right? We want to have expression of strength endurance or strength. You want to be able to do Fran, and I want everyone to crush it. We're going to do it soon enough, but we don't get strong enough. We don't get a big enough capacity. Then all we're doing is now we have a bummed out member going, I didn't PR. Well, why didn't we PR? I just thought I'd keep doing Fran. Well, unless you're a beginner, right, then that's not going to work anymore. We know for a beginner, if they actually try and do Fran at 95 pounds, 65 pounds for women, that is just weight training, right? They're doing a couple thrusters and drop it. So they're better off just getting a heavy front squat and a press, getting capacity. And then as they improve, right, as they go through those basic tests to start off the year into the next phase and we, uh, you know, challenge them with some more complexity, now they're PRing and the people that have been there for a long time continue to PR, right? And we're enrolling them in it and they know why it's happening in your gym and they're giving you the coach all the credit in the world and that's how we want this to work okay uh, I'm gonna go pull up my screen here and share it so we can go over uh, the phase so you can see the cycle here for January 2020 in our Excel sheet you have it in Kajabi you have it there in your downloads here we go okay let's start off here you see zero week is happening this is that initial week here are basic movements we have a couple of fun workouts for uh, new year's and new year's day All right those are fun you can always change those up and put your uh, favorite hero workout etc in there and then you'll see the next three days are just basics front squat and strict pull-up negatives deadlift and landmine or half kneeling press and then a uh, close grip bench press and a team workout very basic we're trying to get everyone in and what, what what's the what's the trick right uh, these workouts are simple. They want something more complex. Well, what do we know? The simple ones are the ones that crush you there uh, on that. Uh, the next part is going to be uh, here for the initial week. We have that kind of uh, 
pre-testing week here, you'll see. I went over that. You'll see the goblet squat and a chin over bar hold, so an isometric hold, unilateral RDL and press, split squat uh, and row, filthy 50, low, low contraction, low complexity, high contraction workout, and then some Oli work here. So you see how we're going through this uh, there. Now we're into testing week. All right, now I want to go over this in a little more detail. Deadlift one rep max, right? And then just a lactic power 1K row. We talked about Fran. There's a big correlation with your 1K row time and skill work and how good your 1K row is or how good your Fran is. All right, close grip bench press. So now upper body pushing after the hinging with a strict one time max uh, pull ups unbroken. So it's relative body weight endurance there. Uh, part three is going to be a, a Wednesday. It's going to be a hang squat clean. So now we have a strength speed uh, movement, like three minutes. And uh, there into single arm. This is one I really like. Single arm push jerk, left and right side, five times each arm. That's going to be to balance out some load uh, from on the nervous system as well as a new technique for them to, to work on. And then you'll see again, handstand push up, uh, one time strict max rep endurance there a relative body weight endurance into back squat for a one rep max. All right, uh, there we have some complexity on Friday in that conditioning piece there in the testers, uh, but the rest of them are really just get after it type conditioning tests. Because we're gonna rebuild all the, all the parts. From here through the rest of the cycle, now we're rebuilding uh, over here, and you'll see this starts our little couple week uh, piece where we're building some, now rebuild the sumo dead with strength and endurance to a little test. Uh, rebuild, we had the bench press. We're doing some floor press into Lynn. So you see how that's going to be the strength endurance piece there they need. You'll see the squat clean. I really like this progression here. Let's break it down. Zercher lunge, people on squat clean want to dump it forward. Seated box jump to express power in the ground. And a front rack carry to handle that load nice and strong. We'll put those three pieces together. And what do we see? It's a squat clean, right? It's a hang squat clean. Right, some uh, Oli technique on Thursdays, so we're rebuilding muscle snatch, dumbbell split stance, uh, push press, and broad jump, and then back squat again, strength endurance here with some strength endurance on the conditioning. Okay, and then the next week is just going to be uh, the small intensification there, but we just had testing week and we had the retest before, so it's just small kind of check ins. You'll see a back squat to a 10 rep max, doesn't look too much like a 1RM, but that's similar there. Uh, Lynn and the sumo deads. So you see all those parts there. A little bit of complexity in Isabel. So we'll be doing some snatching in the conditioning pieces here is one of the more complex parts, but the load's going to be lower. So that's how we're doing that. So they're coming in, hitting everything, top end one rep max on every single piece. Uh, some of them are going to get put into conditioning that we know people can uh, adjust fairly easily. So that's the January overview. I'm real excited to uh, dive into it with you guys, and I will talk to you very soon.